be with you in just a second. Just uh, playing around with this real quick. Welcome one and all, Navigator EX here. And uh, playing around with new toys. Uh, Armored Core 6 Fires of Son of a... Fires of Rubicon. And uh, for the most part, I'd like to say I have this boss's number. Watch him ram me right now. Now that I've said that. That'd be, that'd be the best. That'd absolutely be the best. Go to sleep! Go to sleep, fool! Go to sleep! Oh, shoot. There we go. He has like... There we go. I just had to test these out. Bubbles! Bubbles! Damn right it's confirmed. Not an S rank, though. There's no way this is going to be an S rank. Ah. Uh, I hoping you're doing well out there in internet land. As I am dipping back into... Um... This. Okay. So, it's my understanding that the next mission that I complete will be the one that gets me the arena. So, uh... Oh, wrong button. So let's uh, get on to that in just a second. I just had to test that bubble gun. Let's see if he's, he's still up here. Huh? Are we good? Are we good? Ah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, let's get a little zoom on that real quick. Let's, let's toggle the UI real quick. The other thing that I've been doing while playing this... Ah, uh, a little branding action. Uh, the bubble guns aren't staying. The pulse guns, they're not staying for the time being. I just wanted to play around with them real quick so I could uh, feel those out. Let's see, AC design. Let's get the parts back on that I had. Uh, that's not the one. That's the one. That's the right arm. Yeah, there we go. Uh... And you can, I'm sure, figure out what where I'm going with the with the coloration and the and the thing there. It's not an emblem, the paint, whatever. Ah, decals. Right. Okay. Took me a second. Decals. I should probably put it on there instead. That actually, that little upper shoulder plate. That actually looks like it'd be a really good place for that. You know what? Before I go any further. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oh, let's see. Right arm. Okay. Let's remove it. And... Okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it. See if I can figure out how to do this right without just horrifyingly distorting it or some shit. Wait, can I? I can shrink that down, right? Size, hopefully. No. Eh. Eh. Wait. It might still be salvageable. How are we doing? Is it gonna fit? Oh, wait, you can't... Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. I see. Okay. Let's discard edit. So let's start over here. Okay, I missed that you, you have those as individual things. Okay, here we go. That's fine. Let's slap that on there right. Okay, I just want to make sure that's nice and sizable for reasons. Okay. Now size. All right, there we go. And... Yeah. Okay. That's a little better. <laughs> uh, 
I gotta get my decal on decal right on my own little commotion engine here. Because I mean seriously. I'm liking the way this thing's panning out. I'm not sure about the power generation. It seems like it takes a little longer to build back up from uh, from empty than it did before. What generator am I using? Ah, it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, let's see, generator. Group the Ming Tang one. But you know, I can still move how I want to. It's fine. So I have 3.8 million euros to spend on the next round of parts that unlock in the shop. <laughs> I'm not quite there on PS4, but I have all the parts on PS4, so that's enough for now. I've, I've all the parts that I've that are currently on. I have the same parts on there as I have on here, and uh, can't wait to get more. But I'm not going to get more if I don't. Investigate the boss. Okay. Baus, I think they said Baus Arsenal number two. Okay. In Northern Bellius combat logs. Okay, I'm just taking a look at this one real quick. Recover at least five combat logs from MT Rex. I'm wondering if any of this is toward log hunt, but eh. uh, mission. Oh, it's timed. Extra rewards based on the logs recovered. Oh, that one's going to get some grinding done. Then we have infiltrate Baus Arsenal number two and determine why it went silent. <sighs> My boss sense is tingling for some reason. And I know Juggernaut was just last week. You're welcome. Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. As they should. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. Ooh. So they're worried about their guns and their ability to get guns because they need guns is what I'm understanding out of that. Okay. I can take a look in there. I, ha I just have this sneaking suspicion that, that there's another boss coming up and I need to uh, adjust my expectations accordingly. Hmm. Some advice before you go, 621. <laughs> 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 Expect the unexpected. <laughs> oh. You're not Professor Oak. You're an imposter, Handler Walter. Your butt? Oh, boy. I'm just waiting to see the mission where that Baltius uh, shows up, because that's the one... And if I'm seeing this area... This looks very familiar. I don't know. My brain's going straight for, like, the... the pre-release materials and shit where they showed part of the Baltius fight and I'm like, okay. It's too quiet. Hey guys, look! It's Raph! A little too Raph. Welcome, Blind Archer. One moment while I switch over to the regular view. Because reasons. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I have a feeling it's about to get a little noisy on here. Ah, because I, th I think this might be a boss mission. I'm not sure. Here's hoping you're doing well. Oh, shoot. Got to turn the boost on. That's, that's kind of weird to have to 
turn on the boost even when you're just gliding around. That's that's always odd. Bubblegum gun. Ooh, ooh, sticky mess. Woof. Ah. Uh, man. The orcs best shooters. And I have one in here now, apparently. Those pulse guns just spit bubbles everywhere, and it's kind of great. Uh, so I'll be watching more of those videos periodically. Oh, God. Oh! Chewed by snotlings. They got plenty of room for chewing, don't they? Holy crap, how many... How many pounds of bubblegum can you cram into one of those blowholes? Whoa! Ayyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyyy
making a mining thing, but hey. It's like how Yamaha can make keyboards and construction equipment. I don't know. Wait, six, two, one, behind you. Uh oh. Oh boy, you being cheeky. Oh boy, they're they're being all kinds of not very chummy. Oh sure. Come on. Hit him with the missiles, please, game. Oh boy, he's already gone. Oh. Holy crap, I think it might be a teleporter. No, there's two of them. Ah, crap. Almost had him. Okay. Let's see. Oh, way to remind me, game. Ooh. Oh, boy. Two angles. I should probably go after the other guy. Okay. Arr. Fighting a war on two fronts always wise. Eh. Where is that shot going to come from? Ah. Oh boy, front and back. That's great. Oh boy. I think he might be down. We'll see. Okay. Holy crap, this mission's actually got me a little tense. Go to sleep. Ah! And I forgot entirely about scanning. Okay, previous Armored Core games, they introduced Disorders in AC2. And in another age, and they had this kind of little eerie factor. You have like this little bug man army thing going with uh, those creepy little bug bots. Is that a coral response? 621, get down and take a closer look. And you, of course, had some uh, biological uh, enemies in, uh, I think, another age is where those came in. And, uh, not quite sure either of those really creeped me out as much as this, this mission's doing. That's, that's, that's good. That's improvement. And I like the disorder. So, coral response. What's he saying about a coral response? Oh, boy. Tell me you're a boss arena without telling me you're a boss arena. Oh, boy. It... No doubt about it. This water... Is actually pee! I hope not. I really hope not. I mean, I could be boosting, but... It contains faint traces of coral. Must have been an underground vein. Mouse was hiding a well all this time. Oh. Oh, new friends! Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Oh, I might need that bubble gum. A bubble gun. That's the plan. Okay, prioritize the others. Gotcha. Okay, considering one of those others is a sniper, and I'm about to die. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to revisit this mission, because I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Unless I pull some kind of crazy hat trick shenanigans. Okay. Oh, boy. So much for that. They, that's cute. They think they're going to stand away in the way of me getting to the arena. I'm getting that arena open today, damn it. Hmm. Anyway, while I'm thinking about it, yeah, this this whole area, looking at the, the light here, 
brings to mind something I read a lengthy article on a while back. Mom was watching some show and it brought this to mind earlier, and so now I have to bitch about justified lighting in films. This water. Because... Why, though? Okay. So, justified lighting, long and short of it, is... Um, you may have seen in a lot of movies and a lot of shows nowadays where they, uh, well, you can barely see shit in dark scenes. Scenes have a lot more natural lighting, admittedly, but, hey, you, you have the dark scenes and you can't see anything in there. And that's in contrast to older films where, uh, where they just do whatever. Oh, boy. Uh. Oh, shit! Power! Uh, and so that's justified lighting, is uh, basically trying to make sure that the lights in the scene are the, are the lights... Stammering forwards. They're not using studio lighting for making things unnecessarily prettier or easier to see or anything. And that's this, that's this thing that's... Oh, where'd the other one go? Where'd the other one go? Oh, there, there you go. Thank you. Get off that wall, you little turd burglar. And I hate justified lighting so much. I really do. Oh, he's got a whip. Crack that whip! Stay focused, he says. Oh, boy, I gotta keep it range for him, I think. Oh, boy, whittle that shield down. Okay. I'm seeing it more and more in movies. Directors wanting to use that whole justified lighting to light their scenes. You know, you wind up with scenes shot in the woods where you can't see jack shit. And I guess I was like... Er, it's like, if it's supposed to be more immersive, I'd probably be more immersed in a scene if I knew what was happening. Thankfully, this is not that. One remaining. Huh? Finish them off. One remaining? Who's a wise guy? Oh, hello. It's like, obviously some things you want the, the film in question to be dimmer or darker or have more natural lighting, but I'm kind of a fan of stylizing things, I have to admit. And so, I think, I think new directors are just having fun with the, the technique, but not balancing it out like they should. It's been a long time before I can S rank this mission. I'm figure out exactly how I'm going to handle these guys. Nice to know about the. Yeah, stylizing things does have to have limits. Um, I think it goes both ways there, too. The justified lighting thing is like they're going, in my opinion, over the top with making sure all the lights in the scene are natural and there's no studio lights or anything. But on the other hand, if everything looks like it's comic book colors, Exaggerated simplification. Hmm. Yeah, it's like if everything just looks like some comic book shit, then it really needs to be there. Hmm. How to put it? It really needs to be like the point of the movie. It needs to be the point of the direction and not just kind of an afterthought. It's like there's a movie, uh, Josh Hartnett, uh, Ron Perlman. Oddly, oh, Sin City, yeah, Sin City is the shit. I love that movie. <laughs> uh, I love that movie, and I, I think they did great with the style there. I was going to go a completely oddball direction with a movie called Bunraku. Uh, man, I hadn't seen City, and Sin City in forever. Oh, I need to change that. Well, same actor as Hellboy, but imagine him, this but with dreadlocks. <laughs> the coral well that was found Blonde, if I recall. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. Ha! <laughs> Registration. 
Mission number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Uh? Additional. All mind hereby. Yeah. The combat aptitude evaluation program. The arena is a virtual combat simulator. Virtual. Okay, there's how they can get by not killing their mercenaries. It also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. I don't know if they ever expressly said in any of the previous games whether or not the arenas were virtual or actual physical things. Um, I do seem to recall some death happening in arenas, so... Of course, with the way these things go, it could be either way. Oh, us tuning in arena, hell yes! Got me some arena. Yeah, Ron Perlman with dreads, I mean, just what the hell? Oh boy, Bunraku though. I I don't remember that movie as well as I'd like to, but it's a very it was a very interesting movie. Odd, oddly stylized, uh, colorful. Everything had this kind of paper f look and feel to it. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe Origami. I'd have to go back and watch it. The whole like the whole world and stylized colors and everything. It was a world where. Firearms had been outlawed, and so you had a lot more people using melee weapons, your swords and your bludgeony bits, and all sorts of... all that jazz. And I believe Ron Perlman was the villain of the movie. I don't know, it's been an eternity since I watched it. And I think stylization, I think stuff like that, and Sin City, and... I mean... Maybe the MCU? Less so the MCU, they... They, they have some, some crazy shit in some of them. The Thor movies, in particular, get colorful, but, you know, not not so much them. More like Sin City, where they're where it's clear where they're going with that visual direction. So screw justified lighting, because if that happened in those movies, they'd look like ass. <laughs> uh, let's, be, let's be real clear about that, that I hate me some justified lighting. Uh, the article would be a bit more eloquent than I would, and I lost that article. I should have bookmarked that. Ugh. Taika Waititi per- yeah. Yeah, he, he does colorful movies. I have yet to watch Jojo Rabbit. Ah. Uh. Oh, boy. That, that looks like it's gonna be a doozy when I get to it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Expend OST chips in your possession to upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. Upgrading the OS unlocks features and improves functionality. Neat. Okay. Sort of like the, uh, oh boy, the options, the optional parts in previous AC games, if I'm getting it. Boost kick? I don't recall ever wanting to kick someone with my armored core. And now I kind of want to. I have no chips. Uh, let's see. Weapon bay. Uh, weight control. Okay. Sortie when AC is overburdened. Previously. Overburdened. Overburdened? Oh. Previously, a human plus functionality in some games. You couldn't even start a mission with with that as i recall Let's see manual aiming <laughs> uh eventually quick turn assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the ac canceling out incoming fire and creating a damaging area of effect shockwave am i to understand that my assault boost is going to have a a charge shield Ava a knee kick with a blade. Hell yes. Oh boy. These, these, this is looking like some fun. Let's see, pulse protection. Pulse barrier and a fixed things. Get cover from fire. Uh. Pulse armor. Oh boy. I. Okay. Yeah, I could probably be at this all day. Just. Just drooling over these repair kits optimization oh more go out of your repair kits i don't know that i'll be using that one too much although that's really good to have uh 
Oh boy, that's going to be great. I do want to do more um, another mission, but I do want to dip into this arena real quick. Just one match from the arena and then go, I think. Oh, whoa, stomach. Now, because what's the point in doing the arena if it's... In unlocking the arena if I don't do it. Ooh, Index Dunham is back. Okay, virtual battles against ACs. Okay. Win battles to get chips. Opponent AC data and opponent emblems as is expected. You know what? Index Dunham. That looks like some Robotnik co colors. Oh, I have to oh, defeat him in order. Okay, cool. Full on in order. Okay, that's fine. So I was thinking earlier that this game. Um, Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. That looks like construction equipment. I like that color palette. First subject AC, Mad Stomp. Call sign, Invincible Rummy. Well, we'll see about that invincible part. The last guy I saw named Invincible is far from invincible, so... Maybe not the best idea to name yourself that. Okay. Where was I at, though? Oh. Uh. Back away. Uh. What was I saying? So this game, though, um, the whole Baltius thing... I'm I'm thinking of that partly because of that being one of oh that's a chainsaw I want that oh boy that is that's so good uh, the Baltius fight is partly um, oh boy I, I've seen that phrase filtering thrown around about uh, hitting a really hard boss and that being the point where some players drop off and decide f this game on go play whatever else. And, um, yeah, I saw that. I'm thinking Armored Core 6 and filtering. This is where I hear it coming in. And, uh, this is, like, one of my favorite game franchise. Um, yeah, that's that's the only other instance I can think of of a character named Invincible. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying we're two for two right now. But, yeah, what was I saying? Though filtering at... Yeah. Given this is like one of my favorite franchises as a whole, um, and filtering be being a major topic of conversation on those those for uh, those um, forums, I can't I can't help but feel that my love of coffee is even more justified when playing this game. J.K. Simmons, I mean, I was okay with the show, but I mean, I think it I think it was a little bit tryhard at times. A little bit, but <laughs> I kind of expect that from superhero media now. It's like so much cape shit's just insane. They, they, there's some of it that's just trying really hard to be really thought provoking. I'm like, dude, it, it's like the giant robots. I don't come to cape shit to think. <laughs> I didn't come to the tick because I wanted a thought provoking experience. Although, admittedly. It's not that the two are mutually exclusive. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, they built a decent world, though, with uh, with that. I'm hoping they'll do more with with. It. I mean, I know it comes from a comic. I know it's sourced from a comic. It's not to say that it'll stay that way. Uh, but you know, I'm wondering. No, that's my point, is, like, I, I can't think of a way that superhero shit really can be more thought-provoking than the kind of surface-level stuff like X-Men and my my racism al allegory. But, yeah, I don't go for, go to cape shit for thought-provoking. <laughs> it just ain't happening. I go to hero stuff when I kind of want to turn my brain off and watch big meaty dudes beating the shit out of each other for the greater good or the, or my big evils. So, I'm saying Invincible's a bit smarter than other superhero things, but that doesn't take much. Oh, boy. It, it really doesn't. I mean, how many times has Superman turned against the, the Justice League and how often does he really have to hide his his evil tendencies from his his day job. 
I'm, I'm sure that's happened in DC Comics. And that's what Invincible is. Uh. But J.K. Simmons just owns his role. Omni-Man's fun. I mean, in his way. Uh, okay, let's see. I said one arena round and another mission. Let's see. Sortie, right. Okay. Yeah, that's the part of uh, Invincible that I'm not quite as on board with. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm cool with superhero origin stories. I feel like teens are made as shitty as possible on a lot of these modern shows. They, um, Very often, when you take teenage characters in modern writing, they're the worst human beings imaginable. Like, sociopaths of, of the highest degree just a lot of bullies and degenerates and shitheads and i feel it's really unfair now i don't think invincible got quite that far i think walking dead went a little bit more that direction but i'm always on guard when i see any teen centric story because i feel like there there's going to be some point where they screw the pooch Ugh. i always worry about that when i see a teen centric story i mean just damn. It's like, current era writers, not every teenager is a horrible monster. <sighs> Teenagers scare the living shit out of me. Oh god, I've got to hear that song again now. Teenagers scare the living shit out of me. <laughs> ah. Damn it. comes from our affiliate Dafun. Holy shit, is that Yamcha? Conducting an investigation into the Vespers, Archibus's augmented human squad. <laughs> Currently, our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. That concludes the briefing. Neat. We expect prompt results, Gun 13. They're still on with this whole Gun 13 business. Ah, boy. Ah, boy. I know what it is. They don't understand the, the the teenagers, so they have to fear them. It is the law. Ugh. It's like, come on. Six two one. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. Bullshit, Walt. Worm by Wildbow. Okay. Hmm. Man, Armored Core 6, though, and filtering, it's like, that's how I like my coffee. Filtered. I don't even know how that works. Commence mission. Search the nearby racks for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. All you have to do is not turn around, buddy. That's what we're looking for, 621. I'll analyze it on my end. Okay, allows one to, okay. Log in case FCS was operating at maximum capacity and was still unable to track the enemy. Ooh. Neat. Free to read and has a free audiobook. Hell yeah. I don't really do enough audiobooks. I mean, the closest I've gotten is podcasts. I, I mean, I really need to take more advantage of that on my trips around. And, uh... Yeah, because I, I, I mean, my radio don't work worth a shit. I got to use that, the speakers for something. <laughs> uh, okay, so Rusty is so fast they couldn't even track his movement. Okay. This gives us some more insight about V4 skills. Analyzing more. Okay, next one. 
podcasts. Okay, so think of a radio show, except instead of doing it live, it's pre-recorded. That's basically what a podcast is. Um, so if you have like a talk radio show or something, and you just want to listen to it on the go, like that, that, that's, oh boy, I'm already botching the explanation. So I guess I'll stick with Castle Super Beast in exception. These guys, they usually stream their talking about uh, video games and stuff in the video game circle and some pop culture stuff. Castle Super Beast, I mean. And they stream that, but they, they talk. They're not doing a whole bunch of visual shit on there. They're not having a whole bunch of props or whatever. It's, it's just talk radio, basically. So they take the audio from that and put it up on whatever services and on, on the website. And you just take the recording you listen to the, the talk radio show whenever you please rather than having to deal with you know radio schedules and shit like that that's basically all it is it's talk radio on demand kind of a deal and uh so i i don't really do any podcasts i think other than castle super beast and haven't really hopped in on that in a while but uh it's an interesting listen if you're really into video games uh both of them have had some like industry insider experience. It's my understanding Wooly has in fact been a video game tester professionally. Oh, uh, one moment. I hear a knock at the door. I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Oh. <laughs> FBI. Oh. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, just a friend of my brother's showing up. Okay, where were we? Second rec, I believe. Text data extracted from rec. Auto transcription from a voice log recorded by an off-duty pilot. Oh, boy. Which voice do I want to do? Ah, well. The well we found in Gallia is going to dry up sooner than later. We can't just harvest as much coral as we used to, and what little we do get, the core squeeze out of us. They know we need it to raise mealworms. How many more children must we watch starve? That's like the worst possible voice for that, but I regret nothing. That's not what the cool situation looks like. Okay. So this one did that one. Whoop. How many? Two out of I think they said I think they said like five or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay, blitzing around. But yeah, podcasts, they're not, they're not really, I think, for everyone's taste. But, you know, if you need something, some radio chatter that's not just the usual music and what have you, then, you know, they're, they're a decent option. Oh, there, there we go, smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fun times. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. Okay, here we go. Okay. Video extracted from a wreck. I allows one to discern the assembly of a steel haze. Ah, man. The steel haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider high mobility frame equipped with weapons that allow for swift, agile act action. So, probably a lightweight. Uh, kinetic weaponry that Vesper members don't normally use. Oh, purple haze. No, that was front mission three. <laughs> Uh, oh man, purple haze. I don't see. I don't see that reference very often, though. Seriously, and uh, uh, Front Mission Three is the only place that I saw to reference purple haze. I'm like, really? No one else? No one? No one in Hendrix? Come on, folks. Uh. Like I know shit about Hendrix. Ah, uh, I need to. I have to make that my next music spree when I when I'm at work. I don't know. Stock day is day after tomorrow. Yeah, maybe maybe dip into some Hendrix. Okay, comms record extracted from record appears to be a conversation between allies prior to the start of a mission. Okay. Oh boy. Steel Haze also a reference? I mean, probably. <laughs> B 
But as stated prior, I'm dense, so I'm, I'm almost certainly missing it. Uh, let's see. You can't beat the top Vespers, we're as good as dead. At least Z is off duty. These liberations finds an assist. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved, have a family. Same reference? See that? That right there. Like I said, like I know anything about <laughs> much in Hendrix. Uh, I will tell you up front, I don't know jack shit. <laughs> uh, I will not beat around the bush about that. Hello, fellas. You guys gonna be butts about this whole ordeal. Am I gonna... I have to kill you guys just to get radio fun times. That is a juggernaut husk. Hmm. Video record extracted from wreck contains the leftover data from an attempt to communicate with Rusty during combat. Oh, boy. Uh, screw it. Not doing a voice for this one. I'm lazy. How could you? I... I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. At least tell me why. Oh boy. Tell me why. Tell me why. Tell me what you want. Either avoid combat or make it quick. Okay. Looking for smoke. Cause where there's smoke, there's files. Also, I missed what he said. Oh, hello. Two more. Descend! Quickly. You, a sea pilot. You're no comrade of ours, are you? No! Wait. You! You killed them all! Deliberation. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, comms record extracted after a wreck contains leftover data from an attempt to intercept his encrypted line. Oh, boy. When the time comes, Furlong will something technology, Elcano, you must hidden then. Okay. Let's do this. See if I can get this last one quickly. Okay, here we go. Direct from record allows one to examine the commands received by the craft prior to its destruction. Alrighty. No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers detected. So... Pilot as it crashes. Immediately pull the emergency eject lever at the start of the op operation. Uh... I hate to give props to the deserter here, but he may have had the right idea. Because, I mean... Oh, shit. How many logs are there? Okay. Am I missing one or more? Because the smoke... The smoke trails seem to subside after I read each one, so I may have to look for smoke trails. If, if I failed. Wrap it up. Archibus's main force will be here. thought they said five logs. I was like, okay, that that changes things. Okay, I was I was honestly worried about that. I can come back in here and zip through that same wall. I think it is cuz they they um the these forces are occupying the wall after uh, I kicked the shit out of it in that previous mission, so uh they are the victor, these are the spoils. Hmm. Obtained Ten data logs. Okay, neat. Oh. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to six one seven and the rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. Thanks. A Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. 
We need to choose our battles. How's things on your end? I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. Hmm. That's not cryptic at all. Two new messages. Gun 13 Raven. Bagged us some decent intel on V4. I'll report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Yes. Gun 6 Red. But you can call me sir. How about it? We settle for douche. Among Balaam's best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. Hmm. Oh, got a Balaam emblem. Neat. Okay. Got a job for you, six two one. This request doesn't come from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. Okay. Why they? Why everyone got to be all cagey? Just like get get to the info, folks. I don't really actually expect that from anything in a FromSoft game ever. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's that's. I I've thought that same thing about that particular phrase my entire life. I mean, I get it, but. I'd love to know how that particular word order came about. Uh, it's like, who's the wise guy who came up with that first? Let's see, part shop, no new things in the part, in the shop. Okay, let's see, sortie. How many missions do we have currently? Just one? Oh. Oh. Concludes chapter? I could do for another mission before signing off. That being said, I could also do for another arena opponent before another mission before signing off. And I'm loving this guy's Robotnik colors before I get to that. Believe you me, what is it? That, it's Randy Quaid that always comes to mind when I hear that phrase. A guy from Independence Day and Vacation uh, actor apparently went completely off the rails. Unfortunate scene. I need to look him up again sometime, see if he got better. Ugh. Yes, today's Wordle. Oh boy. Failed Dortle, unfortunately, but considering how long it's been since I've done that on the reg and how I tend to do those when half asleep. Oh, I do need to get into that. I need to get in the habit of those. I'm just actually in the habit. Ugh. Okay, so. A blue call. Oh, I didn't even read the summary for the last opponent. Okay, well, why not? I'll go ahead and start with this guy. A blue collar worker was involved in the construction of the grid, in spite of the fact the last guy is the one with the construction motif. He is now dedicated to establishing symbiosis with the coral and building a future for Rubicon free from planetary closure, inspired by Father Dolmayan's ideals. There's that name again. Able bodied and eager. He is zealously dedicated to the cause, but he's more at home in the construction yard than in the cockpit. Well, we'll see how at home he is, because uh, I'm going to fight his virtually recreated pilot data. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Aptitude Evaluation, though. I mean, seriously? I think I'm apt enough, damn it. Subject AC. Burn pickaxe. Call sign. Index. Oh, kind of reminds me of Omega from Sonic the Hedgehog. Commencing. Whatever the hell kind of robots those were called. Uh. Main system. Oh boy, just so long as I don't have to deal with that helicopter here. I mean, I'd do it. But I'd feel really bad about it. I knew that was a bad idea to try slashing there. Okay. I mentioned, though, that uh, lately at work I've been hammering away at the music, you know, mentioning the whole maybe Jimi Hendrix day. This last time, though, someone No Third Impact is quite familiar with, and I'm far less so. 
David Bowie was on the chopping block. I needed to get over here, you. Uh, let's let's charge these real quick instead of just wasting all these bullets. Uh, uh, he dodges. Of course he does. Why not? I need for arena purposes. I need a different firearm. Uh, David Bowie though. It's like listening to the stuff that surfaced when I went to YouTube, put David Bowie in, and hit mix. There's a lot of his music that I've heard before, just lots of it, but would not have attributed to him. What's my craft? Ugh. I don't know that I'd call it a craft, but I stock store shelves for a local grocery store. That's after 18 years of working at a nursing home. And I just was not taking that nursing home shit anymore. So now I put uh, I put the cans on the shelf. It's a lot more peaceful and a lot less drama, even when dumbass customers leave dumb dumb packages and wrappers and stuff on shelves or put frozen food over by the diapers. It's like, come on, guys. Uh. Whatever, I'll take that and the mild tedium of an occasional wasted product over having to deal with the the absolute nonsense of working at a nursing home ever again. If I, if I ever have to go back to that nursing home, I'm not writing it off as much as it disgusts me to say, but it'll kind of be a last resort. Oof. Mopping floors and fronting shelves is just... It's brainless work. It's utterly brain dead. But it at least allows me the privilege of listening to some decent music and or podcasts. Thank you, Walter. Hmm. And I don't say the thing about stocking shelves as being brainless work to disparage other people who do so. I'm saying it because it literally is. It takes common sense and that's about it. But I'll take that over being just hounded for nursing home kitchen work. They they will eat you alive in in just even the good nursing homes over here is like shit. <sighs> uh, let's see. Free to download. Ooh. Yeah, they actually have pretty decent Wi Fi, and uh, I avail myself of it for the music uh, purposes. The David Bowie a thon. Uh, so I wouldn't mind downloading that just in case the Wi Fi goes out or whatever, or just listen to it and listen to the locally stored copy. Either or. Uh. Oh boy, was it something by Wildbow? I want to make sure I remember that name. Worm by Wildbow. Okay, just had to scroll up to make sure I read that and remember that. Okay. <clears throat> Oh uh, boy, I try not to abuse the Wi-Fi, but I I certainly make use of it. Okay, so attack the watch point, eliminate the SG squad, and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. Neat! Need a direct link? Feel free! The David Bowie thing, though, that was after going through a day of 80s hits and a day of 90s hits and both of those playlists coming up on YouTube as mostly love songs. And I'm like, Did, were, there were other songs in both of those decades. You can't tell me otherwise. Arahumans.wordpress.com. All right. 
not even the PCA would anticipate a solo independent mercenary. Get in there and get to work. All right. And as a point of personal preference, I always make it a point when I listen to leave one ear open. Always one wireless earbud. Never two. And I would do that at any place of business because I always want to have one ear on my surroundings. I've seen people going around so many places with both of their ears occupied. I'm like, you never know when some asshole's going to come up on you and, and just start talking nonsense or ask you a question you can't answer or, or maybe someone who actually legitimately needs help but regardless i want to be able to hear when someone's coming up so that i can stop what i'm doing and focus on the actual meaningful situation <laughs> uh it's like if someone asks me where like cat food is i want to be able to answer the question not just go like whoa Code hate doing that oh hate just not Oh, great! Googly moogly! Someone... Blue? Oh. I thought that was just water. Okay. Oh, somebody hits hard. Air buds. Yeah, most of the time I'm not... Oh. Oh, sure. Most of the time, I'm not listening uh, listening to stuff for audio like audio quality, so I'll take whatever crap wireless earbuds I can. But if I'm listening at home, I want something with a little bit more fidelity to them. Oh, this is going to be bad. I'm already just completely disobeying what this game's first mission taught me. Holy crap. Ruthless aggression. It's like if the audio is at least on par with radio quality, I'm usually golden. But if it's anything less than that, then uh, time for new headphones. Oh. Oh, boy. Do they track through walls? Because they certainly track. Uh... Yeah, I gotta hit those things early. I'm... I am dead this mission. Holy crap. This mission is a wash. They track too well. Yep, out. What does the Ruth say? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's try this again. But hopefully without less, hopefully with, with less death. Less horrible, agonizing death. Okay, identify a turret, quickly. You need to find it. Uh, if anyone sees me. Oh, come on, of course they're going to see me. This is this is me we're talking about here. Off! There's that one. That's that's the good shit. Down! Okay, I need to get in close without getting in that thing's line of fire. There we go. Okay, that should soften things a little bit. Oh. Duly noted for later performances. Those cannons must die first. Okay. Let's see one more enemy on my. Oh, here we go, on my compass. Confirmed. Enemy squad destroyed. Move on to the next area. Ooh boy, what other horrors will await? Keep an eye out for big ass guns. I have a squig thrower somewhere. Where did that AC come 
Uh oh. Oh, there's one right there. Immediately on the right. I know I saw another one. Okay. Oh boy. Holy crap, those things track too well. Okay. It's not those stealth buggers, is it? Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can block another target. I don't need to be focusing on just one. Urgh. Bet you can't beat just one! Okay. Anyone else in the... No one else in the theater of operations. Good, good stuff. Have I made the Nyan Cat mech yet? Not yet. Uh, I need to. Ah, there needs to be more rainbow guns. <laughs> Words I never thought I'd say ever about anything. You see that? That's the watch points control center. The target's inside. Make your way in. Oh boy. That is a welcoming mat. Oh, uh, that is a that's a red carpet right there. Get down! Attacking a watch point. You're incorrigible, Handler Walter. Oh, he's got a bubble gun. How many of your dogs must I kill before you learn? Just one. The right one. Oh boy, those bubble guns are nothing to play games with. You may have survived a little longer. If only you had a different master. C1249. He's an independent mercenary who survived the first gen augmentation. Okay. Get a little more juice in there. Okay. Before he kills you. That that's generally the plan, Walt. Oh. Those bubble guns are are kinda deadly for the right purposes. I just gotta stun him. Bait me? Come on. He's half dead already. Of course, I guess, considering my number of repair kits, so am I. Oh. oh direct damage. Rainbow Jet Stream. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, imagine them just. A steady stream of additional chemicals into the into the boosters, just like changing whatever chemicals are fed into the the flames. Various minerals and chemicals added to just cycle color. Son of a! Oh crap! He's oh he he healed. Okay, he's got he's got packs. Oh boy, this might be one of those times where I might have to take up the. Shotgun strategy that uh, I've seen circling. Out. Okay, I have no health health kits, and he's currently hafted. What is that? What is that explosive? Oh boy. He's hurting, but so am I. Hey, as long as he doesn't have any more Healy Dealies. I'm not. Oh, that was too. That was a gamble. That was a dumb gamble. Oh, shoot. How did I miss with that? Don't they do that already? I mean, I hope so. Forget him. Dude nearly kicked my ass. Penetrate the control center and destroy the target. 
Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Checkpoints. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go. What are we doing? Oh, we have a resupply. Okay. Yeah, in in that uh, mission against the Juggernaut, I pro I'm pretty sure I walked right by this, but occasionally I had these little supply Sherpas, which he mentioned in that mission. I'm pretty sure I just walked right by it. Multicolored jet streams. I, I know that we have the technology. I don't know that I've ever seen it used, but if they haven't used it, that'd just be insane. That seems like the perfect air show fodder. Ah, oh, boy. Oh. Like, this doesn't scream boss battle at all. Right after... Right after a sub... Oh. Oh. Oh, that is... That is a pit. There. Destroy the device in the center. Okay. Now destroy the device in the center. Okay. I mean, I could do this with with guns, but getting in close and giving it a whack seems to not have finished the job. How about that? And now who have I pissed off? And he wakes up in the land of Oz. And... I don't know, something... Hey, we getting HAL 9000 commentary? Who are you? An older type of augmented human. Fourth generation. Have we made contact? I'm gonna go with no. I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness... ...is forever scattered in the coral flow. Oh no, don't get lost in the live stream! That would suck, apparently. Here it is. Oh. I'll synchronize with your brainwaves and maintain contact to support you. Here it is. Main system reactivate in combat mode. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Balteus. Balteus, okay. Okay, close range. He's pulled out the shotgun. Ah, ricochet. Oh. What axis? Should I be rising, falling, what? Okay. This is the one that I was worried about. Okay. Glad I charged that. Okay. About mid-range... Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Back up. Okay. Armored core Toho. Okay, he's... Okay. I need more juice. Oh! Okay, keep the missiles flowing. 
Oh, you want to get close? Mmm, back away. Okay. It's worth it for this music. Okay, keep the missiles going. Okay. Oh, boy! So that shield goes back up. Hmm, I might need to worry... Or I might need to work on this config to bring that pulse gun back in, because that pulse gun will melt that shield. Oh, goodness! Thanks, game, for reminding me of that. He's a fifth of the way down. Okay. So this is where the filtering that, that was mentioned earlier comes in. Oh, because this is... Oh, up until I think this point, this has been about the easiest Armored Core game that I've played. Now we have this shit, which would be at home in Zone of the Enders. Oh, great Scott! Specifically, the second runner. Okay. I I do not have the weapons for this task. Woo! I'm fine with that. This this is a learning experience. I, I, I know... Oh, oh, also, you have the assembly thing here. Hmm. Well, I don't want to plan on failing on replays of this mission. Hmm. So at some point, I'm going to have to figure out what what build I'm going to need just to go through this uh, straight through this mission. Okay, shotgun. Or the the pulse gun was what I was expecting to opt into. Okay, rapid fire pulse gun. Okay. Mm. So this is Devil May Cry Cerberus. Oh. I want to give this another attempt or two before I call this off. Because I'm off all work. I'm off work tomorrow. I got a little bit of time to play. Oh, here we have fed the cats. I've got a little bit of extra shit to do aside from that, but. Mm. Let's see, shoulder weapons. Uh huh. These missiles, I don't think, are going to cut it. Homing, 8-cell vert, 4-cell vert, 2-cell, no, no, no. I guess I'll just stick one. Hmm. Hmm. I think these are five shots at a whack. Eight cells, though. Can I? Okay, so meet overwhelming firepower. Well, can't. Can't quite do that. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. I wanted to see if I could meet overwhelming firepower with overwhelming firepower. Uh, but 13 missiles in a go as opposed to just 10 is, is an improvement. Oh boy. I've looked into the enemy craft. It's an autonomous PCA craft, Balteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Funny you should say that. Err there we go. Okay, probably don't want to get in close and engage right out the gate. That seems like a bad plan. Oh boy. Oh, that's... that's... not great. Okay, get in there. Careful with this bubble shield. Oh, man, I didn't realize I already... blown through two of my kits! That's the plan! Air! Should... Damn. 
Okay. I'm gonna have to... Oh, boy. I'm gonna have to figure out this whole dodging thing a little bit. Oh, boy! That could have hurt even worse. Whoa, boy. Okay, so... Valteus' sword is bigger than mine. Gotcha. Can't jump, can't jump, can't jump. Out of juice. Okay. Oh, this is so stupid. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, th okay. When did this turn into Dark Souls? <gasps> uh, about the time from software took over the beginning. Okay. Okay. So this is, uh, I'm going to have to remember that. That thing gets up and lights on fire. I need to get the hell off the ground. Okay. There's... This is a boss. I, c I can learn this boss. I can learn this one. I think... <laughs> I think I'm going to have to just rush this this clown when that shield goes up and just wail on it with a pulse gun <laughs> until I can blade it. Oh, this seems like a dumb idea. But if that first mission, if some of these missions have taught me anything... Aggression seems to be the answer. Okay. Oh, that shotgun. Oh, good. Okay, you know what? No, you, you get over here, you clown. Okay. We got uh, clear and distinct boss behaviors. Oh. A little more juice. I could certainly go for... Oh. That could have gone better. Oh, man, I've got to remember before the, the rush when I get him stunned to uh, launch some missiles. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, boy. He does not like you getting close to him. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, yeah, this... this I, I feel like rushing this guy is the answer. Oh, boy! Damn, too low. Okay. Maybe save the pulse gun for when that shield is up? Okay. Delayed sword swings? Yeah, that's... Oh. Oh, I thought it was. Oh well, I'm dead. Whatever, it's fine. I'll 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 die with my assault boost on. Oh, and like that. Yeah, those delayed sword swings. That's so Dark Souls, though. Enemies close to being staggered. Okay. Yeah, that's neat. Remind me about uh, keeping an eye out for that. Uh, Staggering. Thank you, game. But I'm not putting a chicken hat on. I'm going to try this one more time before I sign off for the night. And, uh... Hmm. Something about my loadout. Something. These missiles are not going to cut it. What are you? Homing missile, vert plaz. There was another... There was, some, was that the only gun? Is that the only shoulder gun? 
it is. Now I gotta figure out this energy shortfall problem. Looks like that's about the extent of it. Okay, just have that shoulder mounted gun. Uh, what is the play here then? Because there's got to be a different way to whittle that shield down. The pulse gun just makes it easy. Yeah, those delayed attacks, that's a very FromSoft thing, especially in like the, the Souls games. You gotta have those big, huge boss tells. It's like, oh, I'm gonna hit you. Oh, I'm gonna hit you. It's coming in a second now. And uh, they've they've taken at least that much of their, their design philosophy in here. I mean, thankfully, it didn't wind up being full-on mech Souls, but, you know, a, having a boss with very visible tells. But that's not even really just a FromSoft thing to... Take that that one away. I mean, look, Mega Man. Mega Man's always been big on bosses with predictable patterns. They don't always have huge tells right before a specific attack. Oh boy, here we go. Get in there. Okay, a little bit more juice. Hoop. Okay. That shotgun, he does not want me getting close. Oh! That's a nice chunk. Okay, I think this might be the setup that I have to go with. Okay. Stay still, you'll... Okay, here we go. Gotta get back from him for a second. He busted that shotgun out. Okay. Right hand weapon is. Okay, there we go. Get in. Oh. Ah. Mega Man's like the first one that I think of when I or think of bosses with predictable patterns. Although, again, Devil Devil May Cry had. Oh. Ooh. Get in there, quick! Damn, too close! Too... Not close enough. Other thing. Other way. Oh, boy. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of a bit in-universe. I'm having some, uh... Nine-ball Seraph flashbacks. Ugh. Back up. Okay, cool, cool. Fear the bubbles, fool! You're a third of the way down, I'm... Oh boy. That's not great. I gotta make sure I've got some energy. When that thing rises, I need to be off this ground. Is this it? Nope, that's, that's missile waves. Oh, right. Should have dodged. Arcade cabinet from 2000... Full-on third-person mecha dueling. I'm not recalling that. If no third impact were here, I'm sure he'd know. Uh, I know they had uh, big mech warrior cabs, but I mean that wasn't so much. Um, maybe virtual on. I know Virtual On was one-on-one -on -one mech battles, big anime-style ordeal. Virtual On series comes to mind. I'm going to do this one more time, because I feel like this build, if I can just pay attention and stay away from some of those missiles, might be the way to go. Main system. Combat mode. Shotgun! Okay, that wasn't a shotgun, thankfully. Okay. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Okay. The uh, quick boosts are really useful. Whoa. 
but I need to lay off of them a bit. Uh oh. Thank you for that, AI. Okay. Virtual on. That was one of those games that I always wish I had the controller for because they had a big twin stick. Oh, great Scott! Okay. Oh, boy. Focus on winning this, huh? Thank you, robot ghost lady. But, uh... Winning isn't the focus. Not dying is the focus. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I need to burn that then. Okay. I'm close enough at range to... Avail myself of... Fireballs! Get in there, bird! Okay, yeah, that... Okay. Very robust movement control system, yeah. There's one of those games on the uh, Xbox Live Marketplace um, on 360. I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember if the Marketplace is closed yet. Uh... I think that's like next year that closes, but hey. Uh, oh boy. Right, I forgot this could charge. Why did I how did I forget this could charge? Oh boy, this I'm just dead. It's fine though. I mean I'm I'm get I'm feeling this out, it's fine. There it oh, I didn't boost. Two sticks with seven weapon controls on each stick. Yeah, that's. I remember those those controls being kind of, kind of odd for the time, and I'm like, now, now I'd really like to see those just in person once. It's like the Steel Battalion controller and all the insanity that that thing is. Oh boy. I mean, just having this those kind of robust special peripherals. I mean, the Steel Battalion controller is its own mega beast. Oh, man. It's like, I feel like someday, some enterprising coder, modder type is going to get the Steel Battalion just desk working for PC gaming. Imagine having those for this game. Hell yes. Hmm. Oh, my God. It's 735. Oh. I really really need to set up my webcam for this. Thanks, game, for getting me into that one more round mindset, but I'm going to flip a coin for this. Okay. That is the last coin. No more flips and no more attempts after the following attempt. Okay, so there's, there's some things to remember here. For one, aggression seems to be rewarded. Um, quick boosts, not so much, unless that shotgun comes out. Huh? Keyboard. <laughs> oh, don't get me wrong, the keyboard has its perks, but sometimes you just need a different tool. Hmm. Huh? Was that enough missiles, Balteus? It's an autonomous PCA craft. Balteus. You'll have to break its pulse armor to inflict meaningful damage. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get in one good shield break. Er Damn. Okay, I was wondering if my right shoulder button was jammed or if the 
gun was cooling for a second there because I was not I was getting nothing. Oh, oh boy. Enough missiles. Oh boy. I mean they haven't quite filled the screen. Okay, holding that right bumper. Oh, you think you can get away from me? Keep it up, she says. Okay. Okay, this takes a while to cool. Okay, this weapon takes way, way longer to cool than I'm like. Oh, yeah, he does not let you get close to him with that shotgun. Okay. I feel like that's almost like phase two at that point. Okay. Keep dying and losing. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is going to be interesting going forward. So this is the thing that's, that's actually making people stop playing this game. I'm like, sorry, no. This shit is my jam. I'm going to have to sign off for the night, though. I will be back tomorrow with uh, Resident Evil 4. What was I doing last week on there? Okay, had that rifle and those thermal imaging only parasites and the regenerators. And back Wednesday for at least one more round of Metal Gear Solid 5. I mean, I feel like I... Mm, it's like I want to finish that game, mostly because I've gotten so far in the franchise, but something about MGS 5 is not quite gelling with me. And if I don't... If I can't start getting uh, the hang of that one, I'm, I've am i already said to a dude in the YouTube comments that I might just uh, pull that one off stream and finish that one like on my own. Uh, if I do that, though, I want to record it, too, and just upload the progress. Because it's just, just, I don't know, something something's off about that one. I'm not quite, I think, getting that one like I did previous ones. But regardless... Resident Evil 4 tomorrow, Metal Gear Solid 5 Wednesday, and a bit more Baltaeus on Saturday. So thanks again, one and all, for stopping by. Navigator EX here, and I will see you when I see you. Take it easy, party people. Mm.